could you meet up with him? Okay. And water under the bridge. Um, it's good to see you. You too. See you again. How are you feeling today, Lewis? Good. Dr. McCrudy. Good. That's good to hear. What would you like to talk about? I was at a funeral today. Sorry to hear that. Was it a friend? Yes. Well, I don't like funerals. Make me feel rather melancholy. Well, death is common and upsetting for everyone. Tell me about your friend, Lewis. I knew him all the way through school. He was a kind person. Always caring. And everybody loved him. I just, uh... I regret losing touch when I left. Uh, tried so hard to forget her. I didn't enjoy school, Doctor. There was this group of boys that always bullied me. They'd call me names. Beat me up. It was a hard time for a kid. There was this one day, though, way back in little school. It was lunchtime, and I just got my food. That sponge and custard for pudding. <laughs> I was walking back down the canteen when one of the boys took his leg out to trip me up. My grid went from the tray in this Sponge went flying. Custer went all over his arm. There I was, apologizing. But he wouldn't have it, no. Kids being kids, he said he would get me back. And then when we went on break, man, my friends were looking out for me. They made sure that this boy wouldn't hurt me. Anyway, time went by and it looked like the boy had given up. Went, went to the toilet and that's when he found me. He pinned me up in the corner and started punching me in the chest so hard that I tripped and lost my balance. And after he left, I, I went back to the playground and Found that my friends had gone off to play bulldog. <laughs> How did that make you feel? Betrayed. And right then, I knew you couldn't count on others to look out for you. But your father? I went home. He was unhappy that I didn't fight back. He applauded you, the boy, for what he did to me. And then he... It... And then what? He added more punches. <laughs> 